Yo guys, what's up? I have another free pick video for you today. These are for the NBA picks on Monday for playoffs. We have three games to go through, so I'm going to give you my two favorite picks like I always do. And I love these two picks in this video, so I cannot wait to get into them, but we're going to get into them in a second. First, let's recap the last video. We went 2-0, hit both plays very easily. Patrick Beverly smashed his rebounds, and then we had Bam Adebayo over his points. He smashed that as well, so super easy plays in the last one. We went 2-0. So now in the last two videos, we are 3-1. and one. Um, Starting to get back on track here, hoping to go 2-0 in this video as well. First, I just want to say, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. I post these videos every single day. They are completely free, obviously. I am doing my best to give you guys my favorite free player props, so please, if you're not subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe. It's going to help you guys out. It's going to help me out as well, but it's going to help you guys out even more because you guys are going to need free player props if you guys are betting on sports anyway. Why not get extra uh, player props for free, right? So go ahead, subscribe. Also, go ahead and like the video if you could. It would help me out a lot, and I'd really, really appreciate it. But let's hop into the video. So real quick, reminder like I always do, if you guys are not on Sleeper yet, make sure you are on Sleeper and get that $500 deposit match. I know most of you guys watching are on prize picks, which is fine. I love prize picks as well. It's an awesome app to bet on. But you guys have to take advantage of the $500 deposit match that Sleeper has. Yes, it's good being on prize picks, but it's even better being on both apps. They both have their own promos. Sleeper has Wildcard Wednesday. Prize picks has Taco Tuesday. You can literally get to the point where almost every day of the week you're getting a promo on at least one or the other um, apps. So it's the best option to be on as many apps as you can be on. Sleeper is a $500 deposit match. Just go ahead. When you download it, use code GHOST, all caps. Deposit as much money as you can, and you get that deposit match up to 500 bucks. Literally a free 500 bucks. Easiest way to make money if you're betting on sports anyway. Use the deposit match. If you don't like Sleeper after that, whatever. Get off Sleeper, but at least go collect your 500 bucks for free. And then also, I will put that um, linked in the description as well so you guys could just go download it quicker and then deposit with code GHOST. Get that $500 deposit match and then use their promos. Use that deposit match and make as much money as you possibly can before they eventually get rid of the $500 deposit match because every app only has 100 They have 500 so you know they're getting rid of it soon. But let's hop into the plays. I'm going to save the best play for last. My first play I'm going to go ahead and do is Max Struess. Listen very carefully, guys, because I have a very specific way of how I'm using Max Struess, okay? So I my favorite play for Max Struess, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. My favorite play for Max Struess tomorrow is over on seven and a half rebounds and assists. Prize Picks does not have that. They have it at eight. So if you're betting on uh, Prize Picks, I like four and a half rebounds over for Max Drews. Okay, he hit it four games in a row. Obviously against Orlando again. He just hit it against them. Nine rebounds. So four and a half. Very low for him. This line's been very low for him the majority of the second half of the season. I've been hitting this. Time after time after time, this line just always seems too low. It's one of those lines where when you put it at five and a half, it's too high. If you put it at four and a half, it's too low. So they're kind of screwed um, in that sense. So they put it at four and a half. I just, I really like this play. I think it's too low. Like I was saying though, I like rebounds and assists combined over seven and a half even more. That plays on sleeper. So you guys could get the seven and a half on sleeper. So if you're betting on sleeper, if you're putting this play in on price books and sleeper, Price picks do four and a half rebounds. Sleeper do seven and a half rebounds and assists. Those 0.5s matter a lot. Okay. Don't think like, oh, okay, well, it's only 0.5 more. I'm just going to slam it on here. I'm not saying it's not going to hit eight because I obviously think it is. If I think it's going to go over seven and a half, I think it's going to go over eight. But four and a half is safer on prize picks. It's mathematically and statistically a smarter option. So if you're on prize picks, four and a half. Sleeper. Seven and a half rebounds and assists, but I just love this play. I like the matchup for him against Orlando. I think four and a half is too low. By the end of the series, we're going to start seeing this line five and a half, six. So I really like Max Struess here in this situation. And until they bump this line, I'm just going to keep taking this over. Like I said, four games in a row. I mean, even the rebounds and assists at seven and a half, he's been killing this 14, 21, 10. This dude goes off almost every single game and at least rebounds or assists so that's why i like the rebounds and assists more than rebounds but four and a half rebounds is stupidly low for max juice right now so i love that play but the play i like even more this is my play of the day i love this play 
Jamal Murray over seven assists until they bump this line. I am going to continue to slam this line, okay? Absolutely slam it. You guys can do uh, rebounds and assists over 11 and a half too. I actually really like this play as well. I think it's kind of up in the air. You could do whatever you want, honestly. He's played the Lakers four times this year. One of those was the first game of the season. He only played like 26 minutes, I believe. So I'm not counting that's first game of the season. Other than that, he's played him three times. He's had at least 10 or more assists in every game. I actually believe at least 11 or more assists every single game. He's also had at least six rebounds in every single one of those games. So he kills rebounds and assists. He's literally averaged 17 against them this year. His line's at 11 and a half. Even last year in the Western Conference Finals when he was playing the Lakers, he was still getting at least 10 assists every single game. So every single time the Nuggets play the Lakers, this dude destroys them in assists and even destroys him in rebounds um, can, comparing it to how he usually does in rebounds. So I love him over assists. I love him over rebounds and assists. As long as you're doing rebounds or assists, assists, I don't care. Take Jamal Murray over. Okay. It's not, it's not that complicated. I don't care. You could take this. Like it literally doesn't matter. I love both of these plays personally right now. I'll probably be leaning at seven assists. I know sleeper has this one at seven and a half. So since Sleeper has this one at 7.5, I'd probably do this um, over 11.5 rebounds and assists on Sleeper. But again, I literally don't think it matters. I think you could go over on this every single time unless they bump Jamal Murray to 8.5, 9.5 assists. Dude, I'm taking the over. He literally has gone over this every single time he's played the Lakers. So I love, love, love Jamal Murray over 7 assists. We literally hit this in the um, last video I chose Jamal Murray in. We did PRA, and he hit that as well. So... I, I absolutely love this play for him. He, literally either one of these. It's up to you guys. But these are the picks for you guys for the NBA games on Monday. Quick video for you guys. I just wanted to get it out. I love getting these videos out to you guys before lines get bumped. I can absolutely see Max Struess getting bumped. And I can absolutely see Jamal Murray getting bumped. I can definitely see Jamal Murray getting bumped to 7.5 assists. He most likely will get bumped to 7.5 assists. So like I keep saying, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. I, like I said, I post these videos every single day. I post them as early as possible before lines get bumped, which is extremely important to you guys, and I know it is, so that's why I do it for you guys. I get these videos out as soon as possible. So please go ahead and subscribe. Also, like the video. It helps me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. It takes one second, so please just hit that like button real quick. It helps me out a lot. And then go ahead and drop a comment if you guys like these plays. If you guys hit on the last video as well, let me know in the comments. And then drop any plays that you guys like for the day as well. Um, I love responding to them, liking them. So go ahead, drop a comment as well. But other than that, guys, these are the plays. Max Struess over four and a half rebounds. Jamal Murray over seven and a, seven assists. Or uh, Jamal Murray over 11 and a half rebounds and assists. Other than that, guys, good luck with your picks. And I'll catch you in the next video.